Welcome back to Book From Tape. I'm Jordan Woods Robinson, empowering you with the tools to book from tape as an actor. Uh, and since we have this video element here, I wanted to, I'm looking at my monitor, I wanted to go over a bit uh, what the standard expectations are for framing when uh, when you're self-taping, right? Because uh, there, a lot of people will say uh, medium shot, which means chest high, or close shot, which means shoulders high. What does all of this mean, right? And uh, I want to say pretty much right where I am now is a pretty, uh, this should be your default for the most part when you're setting up a framing. Nothing in the background, it's neutral. Um, there's nothing distracting. There's nothing else to look at except for this ugly face. Um, I'm just, the camera's just cutting off just above the top of my head and it's coming down to, I guess that's top of bust. It could, you know, you could have a little bit more. Um, maybe here, like mid chest, you know, um, that's up to your comfort level, the taping services, accommodations, and always, always read the breakdown because every casting director, most casting directors are going to have, um, slightly different opinions as to how they would like to view these tapes. And we can help accommodate that because they are watching dozens and dozens of tapes a day and whatever helps their process, try to do it. Just try. Cause that, you know, that's how we can respect the the process. And now here's the thing: some people might ask for close up, uh, which I love. I love close up because when you're actually on set on the day, you're gonna be filming most of the time in close up, right? I mean, they get so here's I mean some of the you know some close up stuff is like this close, man. It's like now I don't recommend this for taping. It I think it looks great. I think it's awesome to tape like this because you see everything. You see absolutely everything but not necessarily helpful for taping because they might want to see more. Um, so even if they ask for a close up, probably still don't come any closer than this. Try to get, you know, they want to see your hairstyle, top of your, top of your shoulders and everything. Um, sometimes they might ask you to talk directly into camera. It feels awkward, uh, especially when your scene partner is over here, but allow yourself to talk directly into camera. Um, and then there's a medium shot as well, which looks like this. So now we're seeing about from my, this is my belly button here, so waist all the way up to the top of the head. Um, this is popular for a lot of commercials or um, some uh, recreation type things. I've seen it on like uh, crime shows or uh, whodunit type stuff where they want to see more of your body because they're going to have you in more physical environments, right? Um, and what I've done here is I've basically, I've just stepped back, I've... Uh, zoomed out slightly, but mostly I've actually changed my um, presentation of my relationship to the camera. I've gone back about a foot and a half and then I had to adjust my lighting and I had to turn it up a little bit brighter. You can tell I could actually do this. I can adjust it on my camera there. So now I've actually tweaked my camera settings to make it a little bit lighter. So see that that already helps a lot. You still the, the hard part with the half, you know, the full upper torso shot is just connecting with your eyes and it's a little bit darker and it so that's something you need to tweak on your own but uh that's my setup there so i hope this helps with some framing stuff always try to you know when you can just over top of head to uh about mid shoulder that's that is standard and then always read the breakdown and if they ask for something else accommodate as best you can that's it for today. Thank you so much. If you want to reach out to me, go to bookfromtape.com. You can email me. I also have uh, Skype and FaceTime coaching sessions available. And I also have this as a podcast. If you go onto iTunes or your favorite podcast player, you can hear most of these ideas um, just as little quick cell phone snippets that I've put down um, in order to share it in the moment when I have a, an idea just kind of spontaneously. Uh, and so that's where those live and you can take it on the road with you. Thank you so much. Talk to you next time. Thank you.